What's going on guys? Welcome to a new cooking video. I'm really excited because it's my favorite time of the year, which means pumpkin everything. Today we're gonna be making pumpkin pie cupcakes. I really like pumpkin pie and I've never had pumpkin pie cupcakes, so I figured, why not? Today's video is actually in collaboration with iHerb, which is an online nutrition store. Basically, I picked my recipe, went online, ordered everything, and it showed up the next day. The next day. Did, didn't it? You were like, you have a delivery. I'm like, but I just clicked order. But I was like, oh, I'm not even ready to film yet. But now I am, so here we are. Let's get started. Pumpkin pie cupcakes. What do we need? I actually ordered some things that I really didn't need for this video too. This peanut butter just looked really good, so that's for me later. All right, first things first. What do we do? Preheat the oven. Always important, always forget to do it. Next, we're gonna grease a 12 cup cupcake pan. One second, please. That pan is super greased, so I don't think anything is gonna stick to it, but I don't wanna jinx it because knowing my luck, something will stick to it. In a bowl, stir together flour, pumpkin spice, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. All right, flour. Got it. The scissors are doing the job actually just fine. Gluten-free, nice. Two-third cup flour. Two-third cup. Two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Oops, oops, too much spice is quite nice. You can quote that, Jenny Zarek. Now we need baking powder and baking soda. One fourth teaspoon. Oh, it's just a teeny little boop, so cute. Oh good, I've got lots left over for some more baking videos. One fourth of the baking soda. All right, mix together our dry ingredients. I can handle this, I don't even need a mixer for this. I don't know what this bowl is, but it'll do. All right, next up we have to mix it with the pumpkin. We need 15 ounces. This is 15 ounces. Well, that worked out nicely. I'll get a spoon. Come on. Oh man, I love pumpkin. We need 3 fourths cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. That's okay. Two eggs. Probably should have used the bigger bowl for uh, that instead of the dry ingredients, but we got this. We got this. <laughs> we don't got this. One teaspoon vanilla. The evaporated milk. How much, how much? How much evaporated milk do we need? 3 fourths cup. It's smelling complete, but it's not complete yet. Now we just have to mix this. So while I do this, I'll just let you guys know that all orders over 20 bucks in the United States, free shipping. This is great. I'm gonna bake every single day, but I don't wanna clean up my mess. That's the only problem. This has nothing to do with the cooking video, but I threw it in my cart because I love peanut butter. They've got all of my favorite things. Smooth operator, creamy, no stir. Well, that's delicious. Add the dry ingredients to the mixture until the mixture is evenly combined. Take it slow. We wanna follow the instructions and we want everything to be perfect. But we also wanna eat this quickly, so let's go a little faster. Every year, my grandma makes the best pumpkin pie in the world. And I get so excited because, well, one, it's good. Two, I don't have to make it. And three, I love pumpkin. I'm gonna make her my pumpkin pie cupcakes. What's after this? I feel like our next step is we probably just pour it in the pan. Just pour it in the pan. Okay, I'll stop. We're 20 minutes closer to having pumpkin pie. Bake for 20 minutes and then let the fun begin. Oh man, oh man. The time is now. Where are the mittens? Where are the mittens? Oh, thank you. Nope, nope, nope. This is more important. Oh my goodness. Wow, when do I get to eat it? Uh, well, they have to cool for 20 minutes and then be refrigerated and then they get their topping, so you gotta wait. Well, we're still waiting for it to cool, so I feel like we probably have a little bit. For you guys, it doesn't seem that long, but for me, in real time, it takes a while. So while we wait, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about iHerb. They're also offering a 10% loyalty customer offer, which basically means 10% of your order total will go towards your next order. So say you ordered $100 worth of stuff, you actually get $10 in credit for your next purchase, which is pretty cool. It's basically like free money that you're already spending anyway. I think enough time has passed. We're gonna go for it. Man, I didn't have to wait that long. I just stuck them in the freezer and it instantly was chilled. By instantly, I mean like 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, that little crumb tasted delicious. So it can't be pumpkin pie without whipped cream. Ta-da! I'm gonna top mine with a little bit of cinnamon. You can either do cinnamon or pumpkin spice or nothing, but I like cinnamon. 
Now I've got to taste it. I'll try this little one. I'm good! It was really good. I like it because I can pick it up and eat it faster. I don't need any utensils. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. There will be a link in the description to this recipe, as well as iHerb.com, where I got all of these ingredients. If you use my referral, you will actually get $5 off your first order, which is pretty awesome. iHerb will also be donating to charities that provide children with education, so it's a win-win for everyone. I highly recommend you guys checking it out and making these, because they're pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Let me know what else you want me to make. I'm getting pretty good at this.